Um, today I will be showing you how to take apart and put back together your Xbox 360 controller. Um, first, you will need a bowl to put your screws in. You need a TX Torque screwdriver to take your screws out. As you can see, I already took my screw out, but you will need to take the screws out here, here, two top ones, one in the middle. Pull out the thing, it's right there. And the two ones over here, here and here. Um, the first, what I like to do is take pull, hold down the two triggers, push the the little back shell part, and it should come right up. And let's take out the motherboard. Oh, and if you want to know how to take out your triggers, all you have to do is, you see this, um, you see this right here? All you would need to do is just push it out the opposite way. So, if it's in this way, just push it out that way, and it should come right off. I wish I tell you how to take it off, but I don't feel like putting it back on because it takes too long. So, next step is just take this off. Take all the buttons off. And take the little buttons out. This can come off the little part right here. Take it, take it right off. Um, the next thing you will be needing to do is oh you wanna I just show you how that it is taken apart okay now putting it back together what you would need to do is put all the buttons back in so with this you just you can really keep this in a little button you have to do is just find a spot that means that it, it'll, it'll go down some and that's how you know it's in the correct spot like right there as you can see it's in um put when you put the buttons in You'll know if it's like not the correct button, if, especially if you painted them. But you should know. It'll you just turn it and it'll go right in, as you can see. Same concept with the back and start buttons. That's why I use a bow. I just almost lost one of my parts. Take these little parts and put it basically back on. And you can do the same thing for the little D pad part, or it will not work. And take this little part, and basically, you see the little, see these two screws right here? Well, not screws, but parts. All you need to do is just take them and just match them up and still slide right on next you take the motherboard and just put it in with the triggers and it's just snap telling you that it's on <clears throat> oh and about the triggers just subscribe if you still want to know how you do the triggers, just subscribe and tell me, and I will get you. I will tell you how you do it. Oh, before you put the motherboard back in, my mistake, you put this back on. You don't really need it on. I mean, it just looks. Especially if it's if it's plain gray, it's really no point of having it on. But if it's a different color, it's kind of sweet. Just gives you more grip, basically. Now put the motherboard back in. It'll snap. It'll snap. And you just match it up with the triggers. And it'll just around the edges of your controller. It should just go ahead and just go on 
Uh, there you go. It's on and attached. I don't want to really screw them back together. It takes too much time. The buttons work. D-pad works. Analogs work. Um, I can show you a, another controller that I did. I painted it. It works. Purple. Pretty sweet. So, when you want me to do triggers, just subscribe me. And just subscribe me and tell me about the triggers, and I will inform you about that. And tell you how to reassemble them or disassemble them, whatever. And put them back together. So that's the end of my video on how to put back together, take apart and put back together the Xbox PC controller.